Bumper to bumper traffic is a reality for drivers on the peninsula and south side. But now VDOT leaders tell me the drive will be smoother now that I-64 behind me went from four lanes to six lanes from Newport News to Williamsburg. Go. Hey. Hey. Regional leaders have been waiting for this day, the same way children anticipate Christmas. At long last, the I-64 widening Project 3 in York County is complete. Families say they are excited to see three new lanes on I-64 East between exits 234 and 242. It is a lot quicker. Um, what it used to take about almost 30 minutes now takes about 25. I mean, it's only like five minutes, but... Five minutes is a lot when you're trying to get to work. Rebecca Hansen says some summer mornings with tourist traffic was a pain, but she's pleased that the project will help alleviate traffic back up. And there's been other times I've been going further east and yeah, you're stuck in traffic, could an accident or traffic going, especially Bush Gardens, anything like that. So yeah, it really has helped. After nearly three years of work, VDOT leaders say this project adds an additional eight miles of interstate widening, along with new signage, draining improvements, and repavement of existing lanes. A lot of folks that have grown up in this area have lived with you know, the, the impacts of traffic and congestion at those key crossing points in our region. Well now, not have to deal with that. While this is the final project of the three Peninsula I-64 projects, some York County families tell me they've seen the different phases of this project and have high hopes it will improve their commute. So nice not to have to worry about getting somewhere and not be there on time. <laughs> Both the economic and, uh, and and social impacts that have of bringing our region together in a different way where it's it's not you know, difficult to get from the peninsula to the south side and vice versa, I think will will change our region dramatically. This $178 million project was completed December 17th. Reporting in Williamsburg, Kelsey Jones, News 3.